Barcelona book their spot in the quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey courtesy of a 3-0 win over Levante in the second leg of their last 16 tie. Barcelona booked their spot in the quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey courtesy of a 3-0 win over Levante in the second leg of their last 16 tie at Camp Nou on Thursday night. Levante entered the match with a narrow advantage having recorded a 2-2-1 victory when the pair met in the first leg last week. Barcelona turned things around on home soil, however, with a double from Usman Dembele and a Lionel Messi goal handing the holders a 4-2 aggregate success. Copyright writers There was controversy ahead of the match with reports in Spain claiming that Barcelona could be disqualified from the Copa del Rey if the relevant authorities decide that the Catalan giants have fielded an ineligible player in the competition. The individual in question is centre-back Chumi Brandaris, who Levante feel should not have played in the first leg last week due to a suspension earned with Barcelona B. However, Barcelona are believed to be calm regarding the situation, with the Spanish champions certain that the rules have been changed and they will therefore not be sanctioned. Real Madrid were famously expelled from the 2015-16 Copa del Rey for fielding Denis Cheryshev in a last 32 match against Cadiz when the Russian should have been serving a suspension earned while representing Villarreal. Thursday's clash at Camp Nou went ahead as planned, however, and Messi was recalled by Barcelona boss Ernesto Valverde as the holders looked to turn the tie around on home soil. Barcelona were the team on the front foot in the early stages as Dembele and Philippe Coutinho both enjoyed possession in forward positions, but Levante were proving difficult to break down. Messi tested Levante goalkeeper Ida Fernandez with a free kick in the 15th minute though, before Coutinho smashed a powerful attempt over the crossbar three minutes later as opportunities started to arrive, copyright writer Sider made another. Excellent save to deny Messi in the 25th minute, with the Levante stopper managing to deflect a powerful attempt just wide of the far post, before Jason Murillo headed over from the resulting corner. Arturo Vidal then headed a Messi cross over the Levante goal in the 27th minute as the pressure increased. Barcelona were dominant though and they finally made the breakthrough in the 30th minute when Messi released Dembélé into the Levante box and the Frenchman managed to convert. There was a huge slice of luck about the opening goal, however, with Levante defender Sergio Postigo kicking the ball against Dembélé and it rebounded into the back of the net. Less than one minute later, Dembélé had his second. Messi was again the architect as the Argentine released his fellow attacker, who rounded Eider and managed to squeeze the ball past the Levante goalkeeper from a narrow angle. Jose Campana tested Jasper Stilison with an attempt late in the first period, but Barcelona had a flurry of opportunities to score a third before the break, with Eider having to keep out attempts from Messi and Coutinho, while Dembele also missed a sitter for his hat-trick. Barcelona had more than 70% of the possession in the first period, while they hit the target with 10 of their 16 attempts, which was an indication of their dominance on home soil. Copyright Reuters Barcelona landed their 30th Copa del Rey crown last season and have been utterly dominant in this competition in recent years. Indeed, they have lifted the trophy in each of the last four campaigns and have been present in all but one of the last eight finals. Coutinho thought that he had scored Barcelona's third early in the second period when he found the bottom corner with an excellent strike, but the offside flag came to Levante's rescue. Arthur then struck a powerful attempt over the Levante crossbar in the 53rd minute as Barcelona continued to dominate. The Spanish champions had their third in the 54th minute when Nelson Semedo's low cross was expertly dinked into the bottom corner of the net by the exceptional Messi. Levante were so impressive during their victory over Barcelona last week, but the Valencia-based outfit were simply blown away on the night by Barcelona's front three. Luis Suarez was given a rest from the start as Coutinho joined Dembele and Messi in the final third of the field. Coutinho has had his issues this season, but the Brazil international put in another impressive performance before being replaced by Luis Suarez in the 63rd minute. Copyright Reuters Emmanuel Botang's pace was too. Much for Clement Lengla 20 minutes from time as Levante had an opportunity to get their name on the score sheet, but the forward ultimately smashed the ball into the side netting. 
Dembele then had a wonderful chance to score his third in the 73rd minute after being released by Messi into a shooting position, but the Frenchman's low attempt just missed the far post. Levante were fortunate to keep all 11 players on the pitch in the 75th minute when Eric Cabaco flew into a challenge with Dembele, who was replaced by Arsenal-linked Denis Suarez shortly after. Ines Vardy sent a free kick into the Barcelona wall in the 82nd minute as Levante looked for one of the two goals that they needed in the latter stages to take the lead in the tie. Luis Suarez had a shot blocked in the 86th minute before Boateng hit a post for Levante late on, but 3-0 was how it finished on the night as the Copa del Rey holders secured a 4-2 aggregate win. Barcelona, 4-3-3, Silicon, Semedo, Murillo, Langlet, Alba, Roberto 74 feet, Rakitic, Arthur, Pedal, Dembele, Di Suarez 77 feet, Messi, Cochinho, El Suarez 63 feet, Levante, 3-4-3, Eider, Suarez, Postigo, Jason 71 feet, Cabaco, Coke, Campana, Ducour 68 feet, PRCIC, Simon, Mayoral, Dwimina 61 feet, Vardy, Boateng, 